Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, December 11th. I'm Sam Hafkin, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Wiles, a professional videographer and photographer, will be speaking to the Photography Club on December 14th at 2.35 p.m. in Mr. Finch's classroom. Anyone is welcome to attend. If you have any requests to Mr. Wiles to go over, please text at 6932481010. to 810 all dual enrollment students should make sure to secure their second semester EFSC textbooks before leaving for winter break, or they may not have them by the time EFSC's break ends on January 7th. Are you a senior who has applied to the University of Florida? Washore may nominate two seniors to be applicants for the prestigious Lombardi and Stamps Scholars Program. Criteria include outstanding academic achievement, sustained community service, or extracurricular involvement and demonstrated leadership. If you would like to be considered for selection as one of Washore's nominees, let Mr. Drake or the guidance office know before winter break. The two nominees will be selected on January 10th, and all scholarship application materials are due to UF by January 25th. See Mr. Drake if you have any questions. The junior class is selling Blue Ribbon 20th Anniversary West Shore t-shirts. Pre-orders will be taken today through the 14th under the pavilion during power hour. Shirts will be delivered the last week of January. Bright green order forms were handed out in homeroom, and the order form was also attached to an email to parents. Extra order forms will be available in the front office. This year has brought changes to the media center. Here's Colin Yarbrough with the story. This year, the media center has replaced their desktops with laptops, and the hardware has had trouble adapting. Going in after Capstone, the computers seem really, really slow, and a lot of them don't have a link to the printer, and I'm usually printing a lot of papers for Capstone, so it just takes me like forever to like get onto an actual computer and print my papers. Most of the time, like when I come in here, like, even on the computers that I've signed into before, they take almost like o over five minutes to sign in or never sign in at all, and I have a lot of trouble getting into any computer. And it's really been like an issue for me because I'm trying to get stuff done in a hurry that I need. What we did to solve that problem is every night, Ms. Franco wanted me to delete the student profiles. The problem that occurred with that is that while it solved clearing off the profiles on the hard drive so you could now log on to them, it was as though you were beginning as a first-time user, but this is the first time we've ever used laptops to be put in an area where any student can come in before school, during power hour, and after school. Uh, these laptops don't have a very big hard drive, and so they fill up easily, and so the message we were getting is that you can log on to the server. For more with the interview with Miss Friend, go to westshoreroar.com. This has been Colin Yarbrough reporting for WCTZ News. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Sam Hafkin, and have a wonderful day, Wildcats.